Hello everyone, welcome to an exciting new tutorial series where we will be building a full featured hospital management system using Django. In this comprehensive series, you will learn everything you need to know to create your own hospital management system from scratch. We will dive into the essential topics like implementing authentication for both doctors and patients, creating and managing user accounts, listing and managing health services, booking and scheduling appointments, handling checkouts, billing, and integrating payments with Stripe and PayPal. We will also work with payment verification APIs to make sure that payment was actually made and to prevent any malicious activity on the application. We will also build dynamic doctor and patient dashboard and much more, including a custom Django admin panel for multi-level administrative tasks. My name is Destiny Franks, a passionate web and mobile developer dedicated to sharing knowledge through platforms like YouTube and Udemy. I'll be your guide throughout this course, ensuring that you gain valuable insights whether you're a beginner or an intermediate Django and Python developer. Now, the goal of this course is to equip you with practical skills and knowledge presented in a clear and easy to understand way so that you can confidently apply them to real world projects. I'm thrilled to have you join me on this learning journey and I hope you're just as excited to get started. So without further ado, let's dive in and begin building your hospital management system today. Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the demo of the projects that we will be building. So it actually makes sense that we go ahead and see what the end products of what we will be building is so that you see if in general it aligns with what you want. So the very first thing I'm going to do is open up my browser and right off the bat, you can see that we have a nice looking UI over here. That's once you look at it, you already know it's for a hospital management system with the name DCARE. D actually stands for destiny. So extraordinary care is right here with you and some subtitle over here. We've got some buttons also. Then you can see over here is where we list services, cardiology, neurology, oncology, orthopedics, pediatrics, gastroenterology. Oh, that's actually very long. Endocrinology and all the services. So if you take a closer look, you can also see that we have um, just a little description here so that you actually know what each of the services are and if they are what you are trying to book an appointment for. Then we also have this feature here that shows how many doctors are available to actually attend to you for each of the service. So you can see for oncology currently there are no doctors. Probably they have all been booked out and no one is available on seat. But for cardiology, you can see that we have one doctor is available also for pediatrics and also for dermatology also for radiology but for laboratory services no doctors are available hopefully you get the idea then you can also see that we have prizes for the appointments over here now if there is any way you want me to structure this feature please just like you know if you followed other tutorials of mine you will know that we are actually very active with it you drop your feature ideas in the question and answer section below and then we'll go ahead and implement them and actually change things up so this is a project that we evolve based on your feedback and what you want me to do and how you want me to do it i will go ahead and change things up till we have the perfect hospital management system so for now these are the prizes that we have for booking each of these appointments so when you scroll down you can also see that we have this little call to action over here that could either help you view services create accounts or learn more and that's it with our little footer so i'm going to go with one and click on the cardiology and you can also see that we have the title the description and the image and then the available doctors so ben freira is actually available to take us on an appointment you can see that his time available is august 13th 2024 and this is the time over here now all this are totally customizable by the doctor don't worry i'm going to show you and the price for booking this appointment is 25 usd you can also change the currency to whatever you want when you get your hand on the code okay so what you can now do is go ahead hit book appointment and just so you know you will not be able to book an appointment if you are not logged in don't worry that is something i'm going to show you later okay so you can now see dr ben freira we show the information about the doctor and then you could go ahead and fill in this form over here as the patient so destiny fill up every other thing that i that i want over here like my date of beds my address and issues i'm gonna say headache and um headache 
I know it's not related to the service cardiology, but yeah, let's just work with that. And also for the symptoms, I will say nausea. I don't know if that's that is that's the right spelling, but yeah, let's work with that. Then I will hit continue. So you can see we now created a billing page or a checkout page on order. Then you can now see where we listed out the bio data here, the doctor data, and also our simple order information here. Now you could pay with Stripe, you could pay with PayPal, you could pay with your debit or credit card. We've got a lot of payment options for you. So let's start off with pay with PayPal. So you see how it works. So you click on pay with PayPal, you log in using your PayPal information and you hit complete purchase. And now what's happening now is PayPal is making the payments for us. And right now what's happening is we are verifying the payments. You can see over here. And as soon as the payments gets verified, what is happening now is we have sent emails to the doctor and to, oh, did you hear that? I just received that email. So we have sent email to the doctor and also to the patient. So the doctor, we sent him an email that will say something like, hey, hey doc, you have a new appointment. But to the patients, we sent them an email that's gonna keep track of their appointment booking information or booking detail. I hope you get. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you. So there you go, this is what we have, appointments scheduled successfully. If for any reason this payment didn't go through, you will obviously see it say appointments failed to schedule or payments failed or something and there will be a button for you to try again okay so now that we have this let me go ahead and pull up the email so you so you see how the email actually look for the doctor and also for the patients so this is an email for the patients you can see it says hi destiny franks your appointments with dr ben freira was successfully scheduled and then you can see it lists out all this useful information here just to keep track of the appointments so all these are listed out just for the benefit of the patient to make things more user friendly. So in case the patient doesn't actually want to always log into the system to see what the doctor's name is or what the appointment date is, they can just come over to their email and still get the same information. I hope that makes sense. So you can see we have the billing, we have the appointment detail, the doctor, the services and issue and this little nice subject over here and this also. So that is it. Let me show you how the doctor emails look. For the doctor email, we have something very similar. Hi, Ben Freira. You have a new appointment with Destiny Franks. Then over here, you can see what the services and issue, patient's bio data, appointments, billing detail are. Exactly the same thing as the patients, but with different informations. Okay. So guys, when we have this, that is everything that we have. I'm going to go ahead, sign out, and show you guys the authentication system. So you could come over here, create a new account, put in your full name, your email, password, confirm the password and choose if you are a doctor or a patient. So if you're signing up as a doctor, you choose doctor. If you're signing up as a patient, you choose patient. And depending on whichever one you choose, we will know what accounts to create for you and what dashboard to provision for you. So let's say I firstly want to create a patient account. I will fill in my full name, email, password and confirm password and the user type and just in case you are asking the extension that i just used now is called form filler rather fake filler when you click on it it fills up your form for you so please go ahead install that extension we'll be making use of it in this tutorial then go ahead and sign up you can see it says accounts created successfully now you can visit the patient's dashboard and you can see the dashboard was successfully provisioned, but there are no appointments, there are no payments, there are no notifications. They can also edit their profile and there we go, sign out. Now when you sign out, you can go ahead and also sign in. So you see the authentication, this is how it looks. Very simple while being robust and very efficient. All right, so now that we have this, I want to visit the patient's dashboard so you see what we have. But before we visit the patients, let's visit the doctor. So for the doctor, you can see the doctor, we will see how many appointments they have. Four appointments, five on red notifications. And they can see the appointment IDs, patients, the issues, the appointment dates, the status, and some basic actions over here. That's it for this. The next thing on my list is this appointment, which is one of my most interesting one. Here also the doctor can in more detail see appointments in another style so i actually use this style and not stable so that you guys can see how different things can work 
So most of the time, I wouldn't highly recommend that you stick to tables because on mobile, it doesn't get responsive. There you go. I just clicked on that and it opens the appointment detail. We can see the appointment detail ID over here. You can see the ID, service, patients, issues, symptoms, status, dates, and cancel appointments, complete appointments. As soon as you click on this, we create notifications and also emails. Then you can also see medical records, lab tests, prescriptions. Now, just like I've said, if you guys know any way or there is any idea that you want us to structure this with, I'll be waiting for your I'll be waiting for your ideas, for your comments, for your reviews in the question and answer section below. So we can actually get started working on this amazing application and tweak it to become the best hospital management system out there on the internet. So for the medical records, a doctor might actually based on the on the issues, symptoms, and maybe they have actually spoken with the patients, then the doctor will go ahead and create a medical report, diagnose and also put a treatment. So over here, click on this, you see that nice little drop down. So I tried to make all this to be on one page so that we don't stress the doctor out. They don't have to always navigate to different pages and also come back. Both the editing, everything is on one page. The doctor doesn't have to leave this page. So all the doctor needs to do over here is just adding what's wrong, adding the treatment and hit save. And you can see we created that, that medical report down here. See, now you could also go ahead and edit it. So for some reason, the doctor actually mistakenly diagnosed something else. We gave them the opportunity to edit. So let me show you headache headache updated and also paracetamol and more sleep updated then save changes so you see now can you see headache updated paracetamol and more sleep updated very very good same thing goes for lab tests the doctor could go ahead adding the test name the description and then the lab technicians will actually take this test run the test return the results back to the doctor then the doctor will go ahead and add the results over here you can see how it looks test name description and there you go results see another one test name description and there you go results all this can be totally edited from this page without the doctor having to visit multiple pages to perform all those operations you can also see prescriptions so when everything has gone well and the doctor actually wants to place the patients on some drug prescriptions or medications this is where they add it from okay Hopefully you get the idea. Looks quite simple, quite basic, but works perfectly well as expected and actually has a very nice UI. So the next thing over here is payments. The doctor can actually track the payments that they have gotten, tax, status, the patients that made the payments, the service that the payment was made to, appointment ID and payment ID just for documentary purposes. And also notifications, very important. The doctor can see notifications. Uh oh, I have a new appointment. Then you could go ahead and say, Oh, yeah, I've seen this. They mark as seen. Then you can see notification marked as seen. Very good. You can also mark this as seen, mark this as seen. And there you go. We just have one notification left. Now, editing profile is actually another fun thing. So, when a doctor is out or when a doctor actually won't, won't be available, they can go ahead and update their next available appointment time. Let me show you. So they can, this is where they update their next available appointment time from. A doctor can actually change their profile image. They could change their name. So let me say Ben Freira Sam, just to show you. I will save changes. See, Dr. Ben Freira Sam. I'm going to choose some other image just to show you that it works. Um, let me look for something. Let me look for something. Uh, we will take this dude over here and save. There you go. See, we now have a new image for the doctor now we can also go ahead and sign out so for the patients i just signed back in come over to the dashboard now you'll be surprised to see that it looks almost identical to the dashboard of the doctor because there is just no point in making a difference because it's the same thing so the doctor sees appointments notification patients to still see how many appointments they have and how many notification and then i added this one total spent just to show you guys how you can calculate total spent amount for the doctor or for the user. Just like I said, this tutorial, I actually proactively made it. 
and not just showing you guys one thing i showed different things and ways to do different things not just one way to do the same thing okay so then over here you can still see the same thing that the doctor sees and appointments looks the same but now the only feature that the patients have here is just to mark appointment as completed or cancel an appointment so you see when the doctor adds a prescription this is where they see it or they receive an email okay so you can go ahead and cancel an appointment and there you go appointments canceled successfully so if for any reason this appointment was mistakenly cancelled we also give them the opportunity to activate the appointment all right so guys i think that is pretty much it same for the payment same for notifications they can mark this as seen same for editing of profile destiny franks jen save see updated then they can also sign out and finally for the admin let me go ahead log in so you guys see how the admin looks so this is how the admin looks for the super super user you can see appointments you can see billing lab tests medical records this is where i added those services from you can see so you can update a service from here you can still add a new service from here look at the admin looking very good you can select available doctors for a particular service and um that is pretty much it and also see doctors notifications patients notifications so this, so this is where we store the notifications for the doctor or for the patient and also for the user so hopefully i've quickly showed you guys how to or what we will be building in this tutorial and how we will be going about some basic things like proactively building this hopefully you were excited i'm actually very very excited to get started and i want you guys to let me know what you think in the question and answer section as you all know as we usually do it in the tutorial we go ahead and play around with things tweak things around if there is something that you don't understand let me know in the question and answer section you know just copy the block of code that you don't understand paste it in the question and answer section and say hey destiny can you please explain this block of code uh, more in depthly for me i don't actually understand what's going on here and i will be more than happy to help you out all right because that's checking out my youtube channel the name is desfix subscribing there will really mean the world to me i hope to see you in the very first video which will be starting up right now and until then mad love peace out